Hello everyone. Welcome to Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Check in here. How you feeling in this full moon energy? This dreamy, romantic, imaginative energy of Pisces. Something coming into fullness, completion for the new beginnings. So we're just going to dive right in. With the earth magic, we're going to see what's going on with the feminine. What's, what's being grounded in with this full moon? What's being grounded in? For the feminine, it's the unfoldment. Rising up. The lotus flower blooming. Right? The sun coming in, clearing away all confusion. Any kind of cloudiness. If you've been seeking clarity, it's coming. The unfoldment of what you've been working to manifest, unfolding before your eyes. What else for the sacred feminine? Birth magic with the fairies. So you could have a direct connection, a really strong connection to Mother Earth and the elementals and the magic that nature brings forward. I know fairies mean a lot to me and they may mean a lot to you as well. So a lot of magic in the air. And just, I feel like Divine Feminines, you're just looking around and you're realizing how magical life really is when you take a moment to just be. That's what I feel like this is. It's like the unfoldment, but it's like you're taking time to just be, to purify your mental body, to purify your emotional body, your spiritual body, your physical body, drinking lots of water, right? When the rain comes in, it clears away. It's a cleansing, it's a clearing, and you're opening up to all of this magic. What about for the masculine? You right now, Divine Feminines, you may be drawn to doing some kind of detox or, uh, you know, lessening sugar intake, alcohol intake, like things like that to just really purify yourself. And for the masculines, look at this. Breath. Taking a big, deep inhale of new life. Being out in nature is really going to help you, Divine Masculines. Perhaps you've been outside hiking, camping, in the forest. And see how the feminine and masculine energy within you is working together. Like you purify, you open up, you connect with the magic within you and around you and then you just take a big breath of new life that's what i'm feeling and look at this rainbow blessings coming your way healing manifestations divine love So there's a lot of blessings coming your way. And look at this synergy. The green man. So something about the color green. I feel like money is going to be blossoming, synergizing all that you know. Like you see this green forest and then this green man uh, eating your daily greens perhaps cleansing yourself by being on a vegetarian diet, even if it's just for a little bit. And this really reminds me of the fairies and the elementals too, like connect, a deep connection with Mother Earth. And green is also symbolic of the heart chakra. So really opening up your heart to these blessings, masculines grounding yourself into your truth, healing, 
a lot of healing energy coming your way. And then we're going to see what the abundance angels have to say. What's, what's the theme for the feminine and the masculine with the abundance angel spirit during this time? So for the feminines, block out distractions, like anything or anyone that distracts you. Make your priority list, make yourself a priority. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. So Spirit is asking you to block out distractions. This is where this magic comes in in this purification. When you block out distractions and you go within and you ask yourself, what is important to me? What do I need to get done? What's, what's the most important thing that I can focus on right now? And then focus on that and write out your list because that helps and then dreams of abundance. This is that Pisces energy, that dreamy energy. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. Yeah. So you're, you're manifesting right now and you're manifesting when you take a rest, when you go within, when you get plenty of sleep, right? And it could be things distracting you, keeping you up at night. So write down the, that list, get some things done, delegate. Let any worry or concerns go to the universe. Let go and let God take care of it. And you do what you can do and open up and dream bigger again. What about with the masculine? Wow, that's a little too chunky, but write out your gratitude list. That's really important because when you are thankful for what you have and everything that you've learned, more things will come in for you to be thankful for. And look at that. God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God and your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. Yeah. And if you don't resonate with the word God, that's okay. It's the universe. It's the creative energy of all that is. It's unconditional love. That's what God is. That's what that energy is. And there is no lack or limitation. There's plenty for everyone. And I feel like things are synergizing masculines and there's blessings coming in of abundance. And look at that. Pay yourself first. Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you have a savings to invest, savings to invest in your present and your future. Yeah, even if it's just a little bit at a time, setting it aside, it really does make a difference and it does build over time and it makes you feel good because you're saving for something for yourself or you're saving for something in the future that you really want to do or purchase or just for that security. And I really feel a strong message here is to make yourself a priority. Make yourself a priority, okay? And I'm going to read the one under to tie the masculine and feminine together is positivity, faith, and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you're on. Keep faith and keep going. So stay positive. Hold your vision. Block out distractions. God, the universe, is your source. You are co-creating with the universe and pay yourself first. The universe wants to make sure instead of taking care of everything else, obviously take care of the things you need to take care of, like bills and be happy that you have the money to do so, right? Be thankful and then more comes in, but pay yourself. Do something nice for yourself. 
So we're gonna clean up this fruit portion here. We're gonna move into the tarot here. And let's just see what's working to manifest them. What are we manifesting? I appreciate all the well wishes for my birthday and all the support you give me on my channel. Uh, I appreciate you guys that are here. Okay, what's working to manifest is listen to your intuition. You, you already know. I feel like you know because you can feel it. And pay attention to the signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. So spirit's asking you first and foremost before the magician comes in and the manifestation happens, it's really important to let go. Let go of fears. Let go of worry. Let go of doubt. Let go of those illusions because the moon speaks of those illusions, right? Seeing clearly and when you let go and you surrender those and you listen to what your heart is telling you, that's where your truth is, okay? That's where your truth is. And here you go. What's working to manifest? Well, whatever you've been working on. Magic is in the air. We already got that with the fairy energy. And you can view these videos as yourself, your inner feminine, your inner masculine. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. And look at that, the rainbow being represented again. Blessings coming your way. You have everything you need to be a success. And whatever it is that you're seeking, whatever it is that you, the, the last piece of the puzzle so to speak, is going to be very clear to you very soon if it hasn't been already. And then once that happens and you release those fears and it, you step into your power, it manifests quickly. And there might be a lot going on, but a lot of positive things going on. Unexpected events or rapid changes. The ability to multitask business travel. So there may be some kind of travel. There's certainly communication. It's like a whole bunch of things happening at once and, and it may be a little stressful, but it's very positive. A lot of spiritual energy and the eight speaks of, of personal power. So where your power lies, because the moon speaks of spiritual energy, the magician is extremely spiritual and magical and then you get the eight of wands so that's where your power lies is in your spirituality in your higher mind in your psychic gifts that deep inner knowing your your intuition that's where it lies it's within you it's not outside of you so there's some kind of travel and communication that you're manifesting here it's very clear yeah wow look at this beautiful beautiful energy here the world a brilliant success a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment freedom to do whatever you want be proud of yourself be proud of yourself that you've come we're talking about full moon energy and this is completion energy for new beginnings successful times ahead accomplishing your goals, leveling up spiritually, which I felt already, like your gifts just growing exponentially here. And the key is to get out of your head, right? She's got her hands over her heart here. Get out of your head because that's where those fears and those crazy stories that we tell ourselves. I mean, I've in connection with people that I work with, my clients, even myself have experienced this crazy chaotic energy in the world and it's very easy to get caught up in your head and these terrible stories and get caught up in other people's toxic energy so by feeling into your heart and taking time for yourself and making yourself a priority that's really important right now 
blocking out all the distractions of the outside world and you will be a success. Be proud of yourself that you're doing it, that you've done it. And then look at this beautiful path that's opening. This is the new beginning, the Ace of Wands. Yes, an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. So you get this completion energy with this full moon. Letting go, finally. Finally surrendering that old cycle, the old belief system, the codependencies, the addictions, the relationships, whatever it is. Releasing that. Stepping into your power. Taking charge. It's a whole new world. And it's a lot of spiritual growth and a lot of creative energy that's moving through you right now. It's beautiful. Let that creative energy the energy of God, of all that is, move through you and push you forward. Use that sacred sexual energy in all that you do. It's not just meant for a sacred lover. It's meant for your creative projects. It's meant for your business, for your work, for your friends, for your family. It's meant to fuel you. Use that wisely because it's a very powerful time for you to move forward. Ooh, what else is manifesting on this path? Okay, so this is interesting. Wow. Okay, so these three cards, and I was pulling cards for myself yesterday, and these kind of came out. And what I, what I feel like it's representing is this moon energy because the moon can be the fears and the illusions. So somebody, you, somebody, was failing to recognize a magical opportunity, missing the point. The distractions of daily life, discontentment or boredom, lost in your own world, wake up. So this is a wake up call for someone. Here's the Ace of Cups. Don't dwell here. Look at all this freaking fruit. Look at all this low hanging fruit that you're missing if you focus on the past. If you focus on what hasn't worked out. If you keep focusing on the coulda, shoulda, wouldas and why didn't that person want to be with me or why didn't that job work out? It's for you. It's not to you. But if you keep dwelling there, you're going to stay stuck there. And that's what spirit is saying. It's time to make yourself a priority. It's time to block out those distractions because that message is very clear. Because you might be working too hard, trying too hard, overthinking, overanalyzing. The need for balance in life life let others help you health problems due to stress yeah if you're trying to do everything and you're carrying everyone else's burdens and you're not prioritizing and delegating it's too much it's too much and it's it's gonna affect you it's gonna give you headaches and it can cause all of these different things all disease and illnesses stem from the things that we hold on to it's true the emotional things that we hold on to, the lower vibrations and spirit saying, it's time. This is the ending of this. You might be working too hard at something and putting too much effort. And if it's that much effort to please people or to be recognized or whatever this is where you're putting in all the work and the other people are not, it's not worth it. And see, what I love about this is this is the holistic medicine symbol. It's, it's time to get yourself back into balance here. And if you're working so much and you're not taking any time for yourself, that can be very taxing. And then it's like you, you can't even think of anything else, right? Because you're so tired. And then here's this ego card, okay? This is the fears. This is, these are the lower vibrations. And Michael is coming in pretty strong tw twice in a row saying, listen, I'm helping you clear this out. I'm helping you break the chains. Finally, you have the power to do this. The illusion of being trapped. Accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness. Addictions or unhealthy habits. That's what I feel like you're letting go of. Or somebody's letting go of this, if whoever this resonates with, but letting go of that. Letting go of people pleasing. Letting go of trying to get validation from the outside world. It's never going to work out for you when if that's all you're looking for. Because I feel like somebody is. It's like that validation from other people or the outside world. The only validation that's that's true is your own validation. You don't need anyone else to validate yourself. I'm going to validate you right now. 
You are worthy of love. You are worthy of success. You are worthy of healthy relationships. You are worthy. So it's really finally breaking the chains of the past, but somebody's stuck in these fears and this overanalyzing and this dwelling in the past energy. And it's really important to move through that. So there's an opportunity here. What's manifesting is an opportunity to get out of that old, stuck, outdated energy. Yes, and look, look at this. And then study something new. Do something different. Scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous. Time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. A new area of study. So something new. Learning something new, even if it's on your own. Learning new things about yourself because you're discovering these things. Going on this path, taking that ace of cups, dropping these burdens, cutting through the freaking illusions, breaking the chains. And then it's new energy, new opportunities. Finally, leaving the old behind. Perhaps you're leaving a job behind. You're leveling up in a job. You're studying something. You're going back to school or you're in school. You will be successful. This is where you put your focus in. It's on you. It's on your opportunities, not on all the things that really aren't going to get you anywhere, right? And then here's this beautiful two of cups energy. Cupid's arrow striking. Perfect partner happiness in the home falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship forgiveness and the ending of challenges exchanging gifts don't give up on the people you love perhaps you've been working so hard and you've been all up in your head that you're kind of forgetting about yourself and the people that actually are there for you and it's time to spend some time with those people to surround yourself by loving people and i feel like if you are single or you're breaking away from a connection or finally releasing the emotional attachments of people in the past, you're coming on path with this beautiful partner, this soulmate, best friend. And if you have this person in your life, feel into this, let go of all that and feel into this love, this unconditional love. This is your new beginning, this is your chance. Bring love into it. That's what the Pisces moon would say. It's okay to focus on the love. That's what we came here to do. <laughs> a path that you'll love, a job that you'll love. It's really important that you have love in your life. Yeah, and look at that. There's a strategy and plan. It's basically running away from deception, sneakiness, lies, manipulation, Somebody has a loss of peace of mind or per personal freedom, or that's what you felt like, the illusion of being trapped. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. Yeah, I feel that way. Other people care about only themselves, you guys. I mean, it's true. There's beautiful people in the world like myself, and I'm sure you have friends that are true, but most people care about themselves, and they don't really care about what, how you're feeling or how much work you have, so it's time to break free from that. Maybe there was a material loss and it's like that's what you've been dwelling in. Make sure you were being honest with yourself. Embarrassing secrets. Maybe you have an embarrassing family. Maybe you did something embarrassing. It's okay. We all go through it. You're running away from it though. Whatever this is, it's making the decision to take all your lessons, take the wisdom, fill it with the love with this. I love this representation of this green um, blanket. Because it's like wrapping all of these lessons and all the things you've learned in love and running forward on this new path. Running away from what's not serving you in the universe. This is strategy and plan. There's a plan here for this new path. But it's really important that you let go of the old and break those chains. And what's the underlying energy? Look at this. Is the queen of wands. No matter if you're a man or woman, this is taking the lead stepping into your power brilliant talented independent could be a little controlling but i don't feel i feel like the release of that control and controlling yourself 
You have the power to walk away from anything. You have the choice to be involved with certain people in, in certain situations or not be. And this is time that you take your power back and you make the decision because whatever you decide, that is what you will experience. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. And that one says working too hard. You need to have some more fun. You need to do things that are right for you. And this is all that passionate, creative, beautiful energy. You're very attractive right now. The Queen of Wands is very attractive. Takes charge, makes decisions, goes after her dreams or his dreams, right? You're brilliant and you're meant to be successful and it's time for you to take the lead here. It's time for you to take charge and, and, and you can do this, but only you can do this. Nobody can do it for you. And I think oftentimes, you know, I'm sure myself, definitely myself included, that sometimes we wait around and we think that someone else is going to solve it for us or someone else is going to come in and make it different. No, it's us. We, it's us. We're the ones that make it different. We're the ones that take charge, right? So I feel like Spirit's saying you need, really need to take charge of this because you have the power to unstick yourself, to break free. And that's a really important message. And then you get running forward and you don't look back. Let me know how this resonates. And if you guys have tips, I would really like this to, to be a community where people share things like this is how I overcame my thoughts and my fears and my ego and how I got myself unstuck. This is how I helped what I did for myself personally to get myself out of this working too hard energy. You know, what do you do to take care of yourself? What's your favorite thing? Do you take bubble baths? Do you go on walks? Do you get massages? Like, what's your thing? We're in this together, you guys. I mean, we are. Ooh, look at the cards that came out from the Mystical Shaman. Oh, I love it. Look at, it's more rainbow. See, see, the spirit is saying, listen, wow. And the sorcerer, which is much like the magician, right? And then you get this rainbow energy. Like there are so, look at, and the rainbow is on the sorcerer card too. They're not all like that. Do you see how this flows like this? Or you could look at it like this, right? But I feel like it's this way. The sorcerer and the rainbow. So I'll you look a little closer here. To the sorcerer energy. And we're going to read that one first. Have you been feeling out of sorts because you've been faced with your own character flaws and the pain that you inflict on others when you are out of alignment? Radical self-acceptance is called for now. You must reconcile these darker aspects of your nature so you don't behave irresponsibly and cause more harm to yourself and the ones that you love. It's time to come out of denial and accept responsibility for your words and deeds. When you meet the energy of the sorcerer with humility, this destructive power transforms into grace, which you can use in service to the highest good. Perhaps it's time to make amends. Do it. It will set you free from the shadows and let you step into the light. When the sorcerer enters your circle, you're being called to look at how your beliefs around scarcity and self-centered fear manifest in your world. Examine the destructive part of your psyche that misuses power or harbors feelings of resentment, ven vengeance, lust, greed, bigotry, or hatred. Perhaps you've harmed someone because of these dark tendencies. If so, all is not lost. You have only forgotten that all beings are interconnected and the universe is abundant. The sorcerer arrives to challenge you to change your thinking. You're given a second chance. Correct your course and practice not blaming others for the darkness that lives inside of you. Make peace with it and choose another way. Wow. That's pretty intense, you guys, but that's why I feel like you can feel it, in my, you can hear it in my voice. It's like a, 
direct energy, like to the point, like you've got to take charge of this, whatever this is and run away from the deception. Own up to it, own your shit. It's okay. It's all part of the journey. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing out of place. You're perfect right where you are. And now it's time and you've got this. And then we move to this beautiful, gorgeous rainbow energies, like blessings. All those shadows, all that darkness, all the chaos, you can learn from that. You can grow from that because you see how the rainbow is just whoosh. It's gonna help you take flight. It's gonna propel you forward. If you let it. Don't get caught up in the pursuit of the illusion of the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Find the treasure now in the moment by coming into the right relationship with those around you. All your gifts are at hand, so obvious you may have missed them. Be true with your intentions and do not be led ast astray by the daydreams, the distractions. So I feel like that's the distractions, the illusion, staying stuck, all that energy that we spoke of. The rainbow tells you that the end of the storm is near. Persevere and remember that it is the darkest just before the dawn. Do not give up hope. Things are about to take a positive turn. Listen for the morning rooster that announces the coming of the dawn even while the night is still darkest. But do not claim victory yet or let your guard down fully. The rainbow symbolizes the seven steps of a true spiritual path, which manifest as colors of the seven chakras. In the Himalayas, the rainbow body is seen as full realization of our essence. The rainbow also represents the bridge between the physical and the spiritual worlds. At the end of our lives, we can journey across the rainbow bridge to the highest heavenly realms. When the rainbow appears, it's an affirmation that all is well and you are in the right relationship with spirit. Wow. And all your pets and people on the Rainbow Bridge are, are there. Somebody needed to hear that. They're there. You're being blessed. And you're being blessed by recognizing the shadows that live within you. Taking charge. Stepping into your power. And moving towards this whole new world. This new path this new way, these new beginnings, and this love. I'm wishing you all many blessings.